So on this crank, I'm going to be grinding just the mains because you can see that wear spot right there. And so everything catches with my fingernail if I run it across. The rods feel just fine. No deep grooves. Feels good. But here again, the main, it's just completely wore out. So that's some actually older footage from a month ago, and man, did I sound like death. I was sick for a while, and uh, yeah, now I feel great. So, so on this crankshaft, again, grinding just the mains, leaving the rods. And I, in this point, I've already uh, got the machine set up, everything centered, and I'm going to start grinding. It's all set up. That's It takes forever to set up cranks. Especially for me, I'm pretty new to this, so I'm learning. I don't have all the tooling yet, and for these older machines, it's really hard to find. There's not that many uh, uh, manual ones left. They're mostly CNC, so getting everything is pretty much secondhand and a lot of searching on eBay. So I'm getting close, making the first cuts right now. So I like to start it off slow get a feel for it and measure. I don't do enough back to back to really be confident in this quite yet. Uh, I find that crankshafts are the hardest machines to do. It's the one that I, I've been doing it for about a year, two years now, and it's still, it's still hard. It's, it's really difficult, so. I take my time and do it slow because you can't really add material. Or at least I can't. I don't have a welder. So here I measured the main bores with the bearings in it because John Deere doesn't actually have specs for grinding it. The bearings that I have are from Reliance and John Deere doesn't actually sell undersized bearings for these cranks. I get, I guess they just last for forever and they've kind of designed it as a throwaway crank so there's kind of the specs leaving 2000s clearance and now that I've measured it kind of going for it I'm getting this crank, crank ground so I don't have all the fancy measuring tools so I kind of put sharpie marks on my uh, feed wheel and every time it gets me pretty dang close so I always inch on it and in the last one or two thousandths sometimes I'll just leave just a little bit and sand it the rest of the way down so, tooling is hard and this one is an example I'm quite a ways off of it and this is how oddly shaped that this main wore just barely touching and then uh, as I get further and further in it starts to take bigger and bigger bites so the mains on this one really wore out normally you see the rods wear out before the mains but not in this case The first crank I ever did took me about eight hours to grind. It took me all day because it's not easy. But now I'm starting to get the hang of it and I can do it a little quicker now. I'm self-taught on this. No one actually taught me this. And the books don't really help. So just kind of looking at what needs to be done and how to do it the best way. So give me tips if you've got them and uh, maybe it'll help. 
thanks for watching. This is the finished product. Next, Hopefully next time I'll be able to grind the rod so I can show you guys that one. So it looks shiny and it's ready to get black oil all over it again. Thanks for watching.